Hello everyone, I am Vani Kumar. In the series of Pharmacotics M4, today I will explain you what is interrupt and how the processor executes the interrupt. Now, first let us see what is an interrupt. An interrupt is a signal to the processor emitted by hardware or software indicating an event that needs immediate action. Let us see, interrupt may be software interrupt or hardware interrupt. It, whenever interrupt occurs, then the processor should execute the corresponding interrupt service routine that is called ISR. And whenever an interrupt occurs, the controller completes the execution of a current instruction and start executing the interrupt service routine or also called as interrupt handler. Whenever the interrupt occurs, then our processor stops the current uh, status, I mean uh, current program execution and jumps from current program execution to interrupt handler. Interrupt handler is nothing but it is a function which executes after interrupt occurs. Okay. Now, see ISR tells the processor or controller what to do when interrupt occurs. The interrupts can be either hardware or software interrupts. Now, see what is priority of an interrupt? What is priority? You know, whenever two or more interrupt occurs at the same time, then what should be executed at the first? What should be executed at the next? That is based on the priority. Here I am going to give you one example. That is, let us take, this is our ARM processor. ARM processor. And our ARM processor got three interrupts at the same time. Now, which interrupt should be processed first? That is decided by the priority. Okay, priority of interrupt. Every interrupt has its own and unique queue priority. Let's suppose the first interrupt has priority 0, second interrupt has priority 1 and third interrupt has priority 2. Now, according to ARM Cortex M4, the interrupt with interrupt priority less, which, be which will be executed the first. I mean, here see, which interrupt has interrupt priority less? Obviously, first interrupt, that is interrupt priority 0. This should be executed first. Okay. Now, this should be executed first and after executing the zeroth interrupt, our processor executes the first interrupt. Okay. And then second one. This is how the interrupts are executed by the processor. Now, let us see there are different levels of interrupts. You can say different priority levels. And these priority levels are based on uh, chip. These are completely based on vendor specific. Uh, some chips having interrupt priority 10, I mean priority levels are 10. Some chips having uh, less than 10 or more than 10, whatever it may be. Those are completely vendor specific. For our chip that is STM32F4XX microcontroller, it has 16 different priority levels. And if I consider a famous Texas instrument chip that is a TM4C1123ZX has 8 different priority levels. That means here, you know, our STM32F4 board supports 240 interrupts, these 240 interrupts are configured as 16 different priority levels, okay. And now see how the processor executes the interrupt. Here see, at the first, the processor starts executing the main program. Here see, it is a main program. Whenever the interrupt occurs, let us assume at this particular point, interrupt occurs. Interrupt occurs. Either it may be software interrupt or hardware interrupt. Whenever the interrupt occurs, remember one thing, before going to execute the ISR, first our processor should store the uh, stack address, I mean uh, the written addresses. Because after completing the ISR, the processor control should return back to the main program. That's why before jumping into the ISR, it's our responsibility to store stack value. Stack value is nothing but uh, uh, the written addresses and some local variables. Okay for uh, resuming the main program and after storing the values in the stack, the processor start executing the ISR. After completing the ISR, here see unstacking. Unstacking is nothing but reading the content from the stack and storing back to the registers for executing the main program. This is a simple interrupt handling mechanism when whenever there is only one interrupt. But what happens in the real life, I mean real time, there is no one interrupt, there is no single interrupt, there are multiple interrupts. Whenever the multiple interrupt occurs, then how our processor should execute that interrupts? Let's move here. 
here see i'm going to consider two interrupts that is first one is irq1 that is low priority interrupt and the second one is irq2 that is high priority interrupt now see first my processor executes the main program and at this particular point at this particular point interrupt occurs that is irq1 that is low priority interrupt now our processor should save the stack content and should jump from main program to the irq1 and while executing the irq1 one more interrupt occurs that is irq2 at this particular moment our processor checks whether irq2 is a higher priority than irq1 or not if it has higher priority then only the processor schedules irq2 otherwise it pend the irq2 until irq1 completion okay now if this irq2 is higher has higher priority then our processor should save the stack content of irq1 before jumping into irq2 and after saving the stack content our processor control jumps to the irq2 okay now at this particular point see irq is started execution now after the completing irq our processor should be unstacking unstacking means uh, it needs to jump from irq2 to irq1 because it was resumed the process at irq1 and after com completing the irq1 again it will go back to the main program and it will continue in the main program this is how the processor executes the interrupts and processor services the interrupt now let's see what are the different types of registers present in the arm cortex m4 processor for prioritizing the interrupts here see there are total 16 such registers from nvic ipr0 to nvic ipr59 there are 60 interrupt priority registers for configuring 240 different interrupts okay now let's move into that registers these are that 60 registers from uh, ipr0 to ipr1 you can get this image from uh, generic user guide of arm cortex m4 i will give you that link in description box here see this is the first register that is uh, ipr0 here every register is divided into four parts each part consists of eight bits see these are first eight bits these are second eight bits third eight bits okay these are fourth eight bits here see now each register is divided into eight bits each eight bits is used to give priority for single interrupt okay now observe among these eight bits arm cortex m4 don't use all the eight bits here see let's suppose one two three four five six seven eight these are eight bits arm cortex m4 don't use this lower four bits okay this lower four bits it uses only the upper four bits remember arm cortex m4 uses only upper four bits for giving the priority of an interrupt okay by using the 60 uh, priority registers we can give priority to 240 interrupts because each priority register can give priority to the four interrupts okay that's about the prioritizing the interrupts and in next video i'll explain you a simple program how to give the priority of an interrupt uh, and how to execute the interrupts uh, uh, by debugging one program and if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section or else uh, i will give you my instagram channel id telegram channel id and uh, mail id in the description you can directly contact to me thank you thank you for watching this video